Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more and it's Leo speaking. Today we are going to review the fantastic new effect from Bliss Dragonfly, a fantastic dynamic tremolo effect. Um, before I start, I'd like to remind my viewers to subscribe to the channel as it helps with uh, uh, bringing more videos, tutorials and giveaways. So let's start. I'm inside the AUM as all the other effects from Bliss. So you would expect to be a UV free compliant. So and therefore I make sense to for me to show it to you as an a UV free effect. So let's add an audio channel and let's bring in why not a file player and let's select a file which I created with uh, B3 Pro and let's set that as a loop and let's listen to what it sounds like. Okay, perfect. Perhaps decrease a little bit of the volume. Okay, perfect. Now let's add the effect. So here we go, Dragonfly. And let's maximize the window. As you can see, straightforward interface and as we are used from Bliss effects, but always very effective and the usual control. So it's very nice and easy to use. And um, at the moment it is set to work in manual mode, but you can also receive input from MIDI, from the audio, uh, from itself, the audio itself, that's why it's called self and also can act um, as applying effect using also a side chain signal or input. You have amplitude effect here, you can decide how to treat the um, the input signal when you are in uh, self or side chain in terms of if you want to use the left, the right or the combined one. Here you have a visual which is very nice of these uh, butterfly style visual where it, it allows you to, to see the rate to which you are running the tremolo. Then you have different adjustments which becomes available depending on the different source uh, mode that you are working on or what source signal you're working on. So let's use it as a manual for now. So you can see you can adjust the rate and you can see it's, it's increasing now the rate of the visual as well. You can also apply a factor here and therefore if you go to 164 it becomes lower and you can go further down to 128 or you can go even to a smaller factor like this one, one eighth or one fourth. You can decide how smooth you want the transition in terms of rates here, between one rates to the other, which is pr very practical when you're using, for example, side chain or self. And you can um, decide the phasing here of a stereo, which is very uh, nice. And I recommend that you have headphones if you want to hear the difference there. Then as you move to uh, MIDI, self and side chain, you have the ability to set um, also the uh, attack and release of the effect. And when you are in manual mode, you set the rate uh, yourself and also the amplitude yourself like so. When you are in MIDI mo mode, the notes will, uh, uh, the pitch of the note will establish uh, and the rate which you can further adjust by uh, alpha, um, by plus or minus alpha MIDI note. Um, adjusting here with the fine dial. You can also make um, a further adjustment in the self mode with, with the fine dial, but in this case, he was using the uh, pitch as a rate and also the amplitude um, of the signal as amplitude of the effect. I forgot to also mention that the amplitude when you are in MIDI mode will be set by the velocity of the uh, MIDI event or note that you played. And then of course you can uh, use it as a sidechain, which I will show you in a moment, which is similar to self in terms of uh, actually using the pitch of the signal as a rate and also the pitch amplitude of the, uh, sorry, the amplitude of the signal as the amplitude of the effect. You can have it running in two modes, simple or wild, if you go to wild, it will uh, use complex wave shaping to give more of a warm and saturated um, uh, character. And then you have the output gain and also the dry and wet effect. Up here, you can customize the uh, parameters, clicking on the dice, and you can also have the selection of some preset, factory preset. 
Okay, so let's uh, move to, um, why not, the default preset and um, let's listen how it works, um, changes some of the controls. Of course, double click to go back to the default setting for the parameter that you are changing. I forgot to mention that here you see values, note, and rate for the input and how they are applied in the output here on the right hand side with the blue. Um, as hopefully you heard, as I was moving the stereo, I was changing the phasing on the stereo that the, emo, the effect moved between the left and the right channel. Now, let's go to MIDI. And um, let's connect the AUM MIDI keyboard. And let me show you that now changing MIDI notes, it will change the, uh, the rate. So let's try. And of course, um, changing the velocity on the keyboard, you will change also the amplitude here. So let's try. So as you could see, moving up and down the keys on the keyboard, I was changing the velocity of the node and the four hours able to change the amplitude here. Of course, you can make also your judgment, uh, your adjustment here using the gain dial style, which is really nice. The other thing you can see here straight away that you have attack and release, which are now enabled, and this works for uh, um, the amplitude. So let me show you uh, what happens. Let's resize this when we set the attack very low. So you can see the bar has gone up to the maximum very quickly. And let's uh, adjust the attack there. See, so it's going up slowly. And as I'm releasing, let's change the release down to zero. Oop, it goes back to zero very quickly. Or if you have a release time as well, a maximum like so, when I let go, also the release will go down slowly. So remember, in MIDI, self, and sidechain, you can adjust your attack and... Uh, release settings and double clicks again eh, to go back to the default settings. Um, you have also self mode. So in this case, you will use the input uh, signal pitch for uh, uh, the rate and the amplitude of the signal at the amplitude of the effect. So let's try. <music> As you can see, you can do further adjustment on the gain dial. So remember that. And let me show you what it sounds like when I apply the wild effect. And here you can adjust the amplitude of wildness of the wild signal. Okay, another way to actually use uh, the effect is to use the side chain. In this case, it will uh, use the side chain pitch for the rate in the side chain amplitude for the amplitude of the effect. So in this case, let's um, add another audio channel. Let's bring in, why not, something like Digistex. And let's open this up. Let's have it host sync. 
Let's scroll down, let's add some uh, snares like so and some bass drum to make it clear that we have a, that we have a clear signal on uh, step one and nine. Then what we're going to do, let's click here plus on the insert effects. Let's go to multibus or the unit instance and bring in now the instance of uh, Dragonfly again. So now with these applied, let's open this and we are in sidechain mode. And why not actually let's um, uh, open up G Digistick here as well, uh, like so, and let's click play. So hopefully you can see that when the bass and snare drums are played, you see the amplitude going up and also you see the rate changing uh, in the visual. And that is how you can do sidechain very quickly with uh, Dragonfly. So as you can see, you can have a great um, fine change in the different parameters and you can see how easy and it is to use Dragonfly in uh, sidechain mode. Of course, uh, at the moment I used uh, Digistex, so a simple base uh, pattern for drums, but you could use any other signal or something that is coming out from another synth, for example, or something that's coming out from a DAW using other synthesizers, so unlimited possibility. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Bliss Dragonfly, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye.